Hey guys, it's Sean from Pace Racing. So I wanted to come on tonight and talk a little bit about being patient on the track. In particular, on lap one of any race, regardless of where you're at, um, whether it's Monza, Brands Hatch, Mugello, it doesn't really matter what track you're at, but there are some that are more technical at the beginning of a race, I would say. And technical only simply because all the cars are bunched up and it's a tight turn or whatever it is. In particular, I'll use Monza because it happens a lot. Monza is a fast track, but on lap one, you go into turn one, the chicane, and everybody has to slow down to get through that turn. And undoubtedly, somebody will come bar barreling through, forgets to push the brakes, takes out half the field, or I've even seen people try to dive bomb down in there like they're gonna take, you know, take the lead on lap one. And all it does is winds up wrecking 10 cars. And so a bunch of people lose their opportunity to, to either race and win or um, improve on who they are on, on their abilities. And I think, especially in the public server, I think I've noticed it most in the public server where that happens. And it's you've got a lot of new drivers, a lot of drivers who are inexperienced. But it's something that really... I don't think it's addressed enough. And, and yes, I have seen the videos where, you know, this driver is horrible or that driver is horrible. And I agree, some of these drivers are horrible. But that being said, we were all horrible at one time. And I think with a little patience and practice, 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 and more practice, we can all be decent drivers. I don't think we can all be top tier. I just think that's a talent thing. Um, but me personally, I used to do pretty good on iRacing before I gave that up because of the expense there. But I've been running a set of Corsa competition for about a month now, and I've seen my lap times at Monza improve dramatically. And does that mean I'm running top? No, I'm not running in the 140s at all yet. But I've, I'm getting closer and closer and closer every time I race now, every time I practice my lap times are getting faster I'm, I'm up to my fast lap is around 150 now which starting out 155 154 and i've improved three four seconds over the last month i think that's really good for me as a driver and i continue to improve and get faster and faster and when i get on the track i don't go on the track looking to win that race um, necessarily. I have won a race, but it was just because I was consistently running the same lap times over and over and over again, a little faster, but always tried to stay consistent. And so, and, and the reason that I wound up winning the race that I did win was simply because I was consistent and the other cars weren't, you know, they either wrecked or spun or lost, you know, all the positions in the top five that I gained were because of mistakes that were made by those drivers because yes they were faster but it doesn't matter how fast you are if you can't control it and that's something that's way more important than gaining track position on lap one of any race at say Monza or anywhere else because yes I understand that the leader gets away blah 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 but if you're qualifying 15th or 16th out of 25, the chances of you actually making it to the top on lap one were, were zero anyway, and you're not gonna gain enough. I don't believe you would gain enough track position um, through turn one or two or whatever at Monza to win that race. So that being said, patience is a wonderful thing to have in a race car. It can be hard sometimes, but it's something that's extremely important and we need to remember that when we get on the track because it's it's really really frustrating for for any driver for that matter who's put a bunch of time and effort into improving how they are how good they are as a driver and their lap times to just get to just get taken out on lap one by a um, newbie or uh, you know or somebody who's just impatient in a hurry thinking that they're going to take over of a race which is just ridiculous you know but you know and and the main thing is we all want to have fun that's the whole idea of e-racing is that we have fun we can compete 
and at the end of the day, I think that's the most fun part of e-racing is the ability to compete in something that most people have never really had the opportunity to do. Even if we could have, there wasn't really the opportunity, but we have the ability to get on a racetrack in front of our computer and be good at it. So, you know, just keep that in mind when you're out there racing, guys. Um, if you're new, you know, not always, it's not always that important to win the race. Um, you know, especially when you're, when you're brand new to a platform or the racing in general, you know, sometimes, um, getting out there and running in traffic and just competing and improving as a driver. I think if, if you're improving every time you go out on, on the track or every, you know, over a period of time that will go so much further than trying to beat the field on turn one on a racetrack so you know that's what i wanted to come on tonight and talk about and um i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll come back and talk about some more stuff later and i hope you guys had a great night if you like what you see here click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the like button. I appreciate you guys, and you guys have a great night, and I'll see you on the track.